us another 200 grand. It's lovely. So I guess that's a thing. Congratulations, you got that the money and the money and the stuff that you got. Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And happy Halloween. It is actually Halloween, which means you probably won't see this video on Halloween unless I am extremely lucky to knock everything together in one day, which I do not think I'm going to do based on my plan. I have a feeling this is going to be a multi-day video, but still, spirit of Halloween kind of thing. And I think for this Halloween, how should we... You know what? Let's go with Bruffy, just for the heck of it. Well, pretend we're Bruffy for the day. No one, I don't know. No one is going to think, hey, how come this is Halloween-y when you're out there? They'll think I'm a racer guy. But some people will say, wait a minute. I know that helmet. I know that outfit. Besides, if I'm going to win a car on Halloween, wouldn't it be quite fortuitous? Maybe I can invoke some good luck here. I think I would have gotten more luck with the professional. I mean, his, his outfit's more Halloween-oriented. Best sounding car in the game. That's what we're going to try and get. Do, 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 and then we're going to spin it as a breath. Will we win the wheels this time? Pretending we're roughy. Now we're 40k. We'll take 40k. Yay, monies. Monies. Okay, so here's the plan. There's a couple things going on as far as Halloween-y kind of things that are happening. One of them is that there is a special alien business battle that's going on. Now, you don't get much from it, I think. It's a no, sorry. We're not going to become a CEO associate. We're not doing anything with that today. But apparently you can go, there's a, there's a spaceship somewhere in the... Uh, in the, uh, the what's it called, Fort Zancudo in a hangar. When the event happens, and you go into the hangar, and it, you have to fight people, and it drops... Um, spaceship parts and then you're supposed to bring them to the guy off in the desert and he's going to give you money for them. So it's just a straight up money thing. I may end up swapping out well I'm probably just going to hop up here and then just get the right bike for the part two of this is they brought back the you know, for the Halloween week, the peyote plants. And I've never done anything with those. It's one of those things where, oh yeah, somewhere along the line. Because you know, they're hard to find, hard to see, hard to do anything with. And it would be smart if I were to keep the DeLorean, because I could bop around very easily from peyote plant to peyote plant. But it is Halloween, or actually probably one of several days after Halloween, because... I already have plans for today. This is going to be like, just we're just doing the intro. This is the intro. Look who it is. Yep, can't fool her. She knows it's Halloween. It's... But here, check this out. Now, the reason I've gone to this character is, look how, how bruffy-ish this is. We got the purple, we got the... We got the orange... This is, this is just so bruffy-ish. And it's a bike, which he hates bikes. So. Here we are. On a search for peyote. And if the business battle kicks. I should, you know what we should do. Just so we can. I'm already in a CEO. Look at that. I'm, I'm a hot, hot CEO. I'm still getting invited. We're still gonna, we're gonna try and do everything! Oh, that was scary. I wonder what the uh, hangar looks like when nobody's doing anything with it again. We'll probably head on in. Never see this on the G, Fred! All our bikes. Okay, we're just going to way. <laughs> I thought I was going. I took that down. I was going to get into some kind of trouble. 
double, triple as I can. All right, we're just gonna wheel over here. All right, this is where it's supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, well, I lost some armor on that. That's uh, just wheeling around. This is where the big spaceship's supposed to be, and I guess I'm probably going to want to leave here because the it won't spawn in while you're sitting there staring at it. Let's see, can we get a, a stump jump out of this, maybe? Launch ourselves out. Okay, wheelie time. And bing! <laughs> okay, that was not the jump I'd hoped for. Blah. Okay, so the Sanctus might not be the best bike for that. Didn't really know it. Wasn't a positive thing. That's the next day already. We're gonna see. Can we win this again? Very busy day yesterday. <clears throat> Looks like a busy day today. Might play a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow. I don't know why we jump into wheels because I can finally settle in and try to fork down some peyote plants. I'm probably not going to get them all in this video. We're going to get two or three. Just to get the experience. We're missing out on that. We're getting the shirt. And the puff. Yay. Oh, that's that's interesting. I just have a G-Wagon. Someone probably jacked and then beat the crap out of it. Yeah, it's not upgrade. There's no wheel. I haven't got the spoiler on it. So... Yeah, the plan for here, even though it is right now all Saints Day as I'm doing this, there's, there's the uh, business type weapons. Okay, so that's not the, the alien spaceship one, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna ignore that for the most part. They're supposed to be somewhere. Up in here. I don't know what these peyote pants look like. Peyote pants. Peyote plants even look like. Let me look at the map. I think it's actually might be on the other side. According to the map I saw online. Might be through here. What's that little piece of dirt? I've never done this. I've certainly never done a cross, uh, cross playing, cosplaying as Ruffy 1322. Oh, good. Where you know, is I keep it straight. the stupid plant location? I don't even know what they look like. Are they across the street maybe? I mean, if you look at... Let me stop for a moment and look at the map. Yeah, it should be right around here. Like, you'd think they'd be right around where this tree is. Especially considering I've never found one, or even know what they look like. And somewhere like in here? As I'm telling you, you really have to want to do this. Somewhere 
down in here? Am I even recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Imagine you're doing this to actually try to get high. I'm just going to wander around the woods till I find something. Is it the sort of thing where if someone eats it and then you're in a session that it's already been eaten, so therefore none for you? That's it, I think. Eat the peyote! We actually got to do it! Sniff, sniff through the thing. I'm a puppy dog. Eat in the hallucination, as this drink. Puppy dog, can I jump? Can you jump? Doggies jump. Apparently, I can't jump. I know E ends the hallucination. Can we drive? Okay, we can't drive. Which, I mean, makes sense. I'm a puppy dog. Where is the nearest player? Well, we could probably... I'm thinking... Oh, hello! How you doing? Can I piss on his bike? I'm a puppy dog. So here we have a puppy dog and a guy in an oppressor mark douche. What's this guy's name? Weekend Life. I should be able to bite him. But, like, he hasn't really done anything other than be interested in the fact that I am here as a puppy dog. How will he treat me as a puppy dog? I am cute. Okay, let's see if we can lead him along. Just walking normally. Well, now that wasn't nice. You see how people are. Like, you just couldn't, uh, leave well enough, right? Let's see, where is he now? In relation to all this. Is he a zip-off? On his oppressor mark douche? Do you leave the game? What the heck? <sighs> you know, I was just going to go be a puppy and see if I could get into the casino. I think we need to find his oppressor, Margouche. If he's not on it. And blow it up, because it'll take him five more minutes to uh, get another one back. Where you go? 
Yeah, he must have ridden off into the sunset in his Professor Mardouche. Oh dear, I think I might have triggered a gang attack. I don't want any part of that. Ugh. I just punched it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to this t-shirt place. We got an eject. That can't be good. He's lined up on me. Cut. The inside. Yep, do it. How much you want to bet? You gonna start strafing on me? He's doing something. Where is the t-shirt shop? Other side? Hey you. It's been Down in the corner. Long. Hello, I'm in a t-shirt shop. Hi, welcome. Now the reason I'm in a t-shirt shop is because very fortuitously. I was watching a, a GTA Men video where he explained how to get his look if you wanted to cosplay as him for Halloween. And hey, here I am. I'm already cosplaying Bruffy. Yeah, I might as well. Let's see if we can go through this. Let's see, it's not... It's none of these. It's under unlocks, I think. Special tops. Unlocks. Which I have a few, but I don't think I have the one he uses. That would be a funny one to use, be kind of mean to him. But none of these really scream GTA men from the unlocks. Radio stations. I don't have the, uh, the radio station one he uses. That would be completely inappropriate for what we're doing, but we could do that. It's not really the right look. Not too many red shirts to, you know, totally. You know, that's ideally knockoffs. Shame or shame. <laughs> okay, it is a red shirt. You're awful. Winners, three master painting. <laughs> okay. No talent required. That would be just mean. We're not going to do that. Fame or shame. You're so there you go. We're going to go with you're so original. The red you're so original T. That's something appropriate for. If you're going to do it. Bomber jackets. What we need is biker jackets. Where is the charcoal? Charcoal patch. There you go. We're almost there. We're almost GTA men. Need to go back out to. Oh, we have to go to, to pants now. Excuse me. I'm just trying to find the pants. Let's go jeans. Black road worn. There you go. We're almost there. It's good enough for a, co a Halloween costume. Let me tell you that, folks. Um, let me go to style. Accessories. Helmets. None. We'll get rid of the helmet. Obviously, we're not going to be able to complete the look here. And we don't care about Simeon.
truth be told, this would be more effective on my uh, black than any of my other CEO, because I've got the closer hair. I could get that kind of slicked up. But we need a GTA man selection in, in any case. You need to have... Where's boots? I don't see any boots. Rubberized boots. None of them are compatible with... Looks like none of this... Oh, here's boots. Right at the top. Teal wingtips. I think that's what he wears. Isn't that what he wears? Teal wingtips. Not those. There's like lots of stuff everywhere. Not those. They're plain. Really turbo plain. Black Chelsea. I don't think they're black Chelsea boots. They're not that shiny. Black work boots is probably close enough to it, but flight boots. Man, I just glance at this and I'm like looking at it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think that's that. Black harness boots. There you go. We'll cash yeah, that up. Well, no, that's the wrong. That's the oxbow weed. The... I just lost it. Where did it jump? Black slack boots. There we go. Close enough. We're not quite. Uh, we're not quite GTA men. We're not gonna quite be GTA men here, but. Let me find my bike. See if anybody. See you know, if somebody kills me, they'll really think. You know, they'll really fit the the GTA man kind of thing. Where is the nearest hair salon face place kind of thing? I think you can get about something, right? I'm not gonna screw with the hair. I like the hair on it. I wasn't driving that fast to go flying off the bike that hard. This bike is smoking already. Barf. We we may have to rotate out to a different a different set of wheels pretty soon. Just saying this. I wonder if I even put armor on. We could give him a different look if we know what his current look is. We could probably give him a different look, but hey. Why, hello there. Have Get a, a makeover. Seat. Hairstyles. Okay, we've got long hair as our standard. Okay. That's actually, there you go. That's the GTA men look. Some of my best work yet. It is the slicked. Which I think I'm not going to color it. We're just going to leave that as it is. And then beard. Right now we have the musketeer. He goes with the... It's like heavy scruffy. I don't know. It's a heavy stubble. Scruffy beard. I think that's... The GTA man, like the scruffy beard and the slicked back. Again, I'm not changing the color. We're just gonna go with that and come back anytime. Cause I know I wouldn't, I wouldn't invest in hair color for a. Uh... Oh, you know what? There's one more thing we need here. 
I wonder if they do make up the makeup on this place too. And this is supposed to be, according to his video, only available during Halloween. Maybe it's not even available. He was only available once upon a time. Ghost Skull, that's pretty close, but... Spirit Skull, I don't know if that's the Spirit Skull is quite a... That might be as close as we can come. Is it Spirit Skull? It's not the, it's not the green one. I think that might be as close as we could get to being GTA men for a day. Thankfully, it's not a tattoo. Thanks for stopping by. I feel like he has some shades to go along with this. We have to go in and let's see. Let's go do style, accessories, glasses. What do you think we look? Oh, let's go with with the uh, black casuals there anyway. All right, I'm out for Halloween or the day after there. So, as GTA men, now let's see if we can find. Let's get a uh, let's turn GTA men into somebody here, right? We might be in luck because if the map that is on the internet here that I'm looking at is correct, and we've got, by the way, that player on the oppressor mark douche is the one. There should be another Pueyo tape on it. This can't go uphill. Somewhere up in here. Let's park this and walk around. I assume it's somewhere up in here. see anything. Doesn't look like a particularly good spot for a Poyote. Should be close. That guy was moving on me pretty fast. Looks like he's decided not to lob a missile into me. I'm not sure if it's here or more up here. I bet you're a banker. Or even here. Somewhere along this block here. Let's cowboy up and look over that side. Some kind of mini parade going on? This looks a little more promising. There's more grass at least. Whoa. 
the best vehicle for this, but it, 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 it's thematic, you know? I'm thinking I'm SOL here. Hmm. Maybe we should just pick a different location altogether. I think it's a little bit more clear as to what the point is on the map. Okay, let's try... Yeah, let's try that. Somewhere right down here. Okay, we're doing this in a free mode session just so that we can capture the prepare for the longest wheelie challenge. I don't even think this thing wheelies. I guess it wheelied a little bit there. It's not a wheelie machine. We can try to wheelie it, but I think if we're lucky, we'll be a dog or something, so we won't be able to do the longest wheelie challenge. So this should be a tighter location to search. Everything's a little bit more out in the open. Zoom. Now, where is the peyote? I can totally see me not doing this. I, I might be it might be a case of hey at least I tried it once I got to be a doggy I got shot with a boop gun from someone who doesn't like doggies Don't draw my it's a little bit easier now because we know what the thing looks like right? Looking for peyotes for no reason other than to show you how frustrating it is to find peyotes. I don't know what the circ circular error of probability is when I look at these points on the whole map I'm looking at. I don't know, I'd actually pull up a GTA man video and then just go point to point on all of it, but I really don't want to do all of them. What is going on out there? Oh, it's a political parade, yay! People beeping their horns. <sighs> well, we haven't become a doggy yet, so I guess we can jump back on our motorcycle and wheelie for a short bit. Nobody's doing anything with it. They're killing each other, though. Oh, looks like somebody's close by. This is being difficult. We got a jet in the air. Is anybody moving on me here? Hmm. 
Nobody's. I am gonna go for second place. Whoa, wheelie! Whoa, 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 whoa. not a good wheelie bike. Yeah, I'm in the lead. Look at that. I'm sanctusing myself and. Alright, that's all we're gonna do. He can pop another wheel and go beyond that. I figure this will be a good thing to be clicking along. Holy sweet for a PO game. Hmm. Is there. Is there a little island out there? Oh, it's on the island out there. Looking at, looking at the other way around. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Yes. Make me a puppy dog or something. There I am, my GTA men look. You're original. I'm not original. They're just being GTA. I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken. Buck, 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 buck. Oh, this actually takes me back a little bit. I remember back in the mid-90s, we used to play Heretic over the uh, over the, the LAN at work. Multiplayer kind of stuff. And one of the things you could do is you could shoot exit people and turn them into chickens. Which would usually get people to scream, I'M A CHICKEN! And then you could start to go after them. One of the most epic uh, moments was when uh, two of the guys were fighting and they were both down to pretty low health and the chicken went in and pecked one of them and got a kill. Just totally, totally... What? I'm a chicken! I'm a chicken and I got, what, launched here? I got to be a chicken! I was going to go peck somebody! And suddenly I'm joining a, a compatible GTA session. Blah, 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 blah. What, what's it compatible with me being a chicken in this one? All I wanted to be was a chicken. That was one of my goals. Well, I guess I got to be a chicken for a short period of time. I didn't get to peck anybody. I was even going to peck an NPC at some point. But no, 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 we can't do that. That's frustrating. All right. Okay, well, at least I ended up in a session on my own. What's that called? Don't I have, like, a stylist or some kind of thing in, built into this whole thing? Hello, ladies. This is GTA, man. I'll see you all later. Let's get a makeover. I need a makeover. Hairstyles, get me back to long hair. Long slicked. No, not long slicked. Hey, this is all free. This is where I should have gone in the first place. That Did that work? Okay, why am I... That, what, what ha, what's happening there? No. That's not what I wanted. And that's no, we're going to go back in again. Something jammed up there. It's doing that again. Every time I... When is it? Stop it!
Okay, I had some issues there with the the pen or something. The Windows pen that I don't have a pen. All right, hairstyles back to just my normal long hair. Now we've gotten this face makeup once, so hopefully that means it will be. Can I not get face paint here? There's makeup, but you know, just. Are you stuck with this makeup forever? Come on, we gotta be able to get rid of makeup. Do I have to go downtown for that? Do I have to get go downtown to get my face washed? None. Okay, that's. That maybe will do it. We're clean! Alright, we're back to us. Oh, you know what we need? We need the beard back. Beard. Where is my musketeer? There we go. Back to being me again. I tried being GTA, man. What happened to my shirt? The, the your um, something was is gone. It's just a red shirt now. Um, yeah, let's try and save that outfit. Can we can we keep it as a glitched shirt? The your original shirt. I'm gonna save the outfit, just not the look. I don't think I don't think you can save the outfit as part of like makeup as part of the outfit anyway. So change clothes. It saved outfits. Let's call this one GTA Man. And then we're going to change clothes. Two outfits. Outfit saved. That's right, we're changing our role play. We're gonna go out as the professional to do our third and final peyote kind of run. Right, because why not? And now it's raining. So now you sure I get to one be the one that drives around in the rain. Um, let's see what is. Give me a moment to find another peyote spot. Okay, let's try an underwater one because that didn't make any sense to me at all. Oh, this is terrible in the rain trying to pull out. Sanctus, I'm not I'm not overly impressed with it as a bike. Whoa, am I getting like lag on my inputs or something like that? Or? This thing just that uh, that funny to drive. I don't know. Since since you know my professional outfit is already all wet. Oh, this is skidding all over the place. Sanctus does not like the rain. Here. And technically we're gonna have to change out if it's one more time. We're not gonna end up getting one of these as the professional. We're gonna get there as a professional. We're gonna have to switch to a scuba suit just to uh Stop! Oh. I was on the brakes that whole time. That didn't really do anything. Let's switch to style from the professional G Fred Ready. We are ourselves again. Woo sploosh. Let's go first person. Now somewhere. 
just off this side of things is supposed to be an underwater peyote world. Man, this could be really hard to find. How did people find these without having the maps to go to f at first? Okay, let's get some altitude so we can get a little bit more distance. Look on the map. Yeah, it should be like right. Somewhere. Underwater peyote. Under, 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 under. I'm cruising on the bottom. That's going to make it really hard to find. Let's go up a bit and look down. Man, I thought this was going to be a lot easier. Wait a minute. Is that... Is it floating on the surface? No. And it's just a, a floating thing. But is it a surface peyote? I thought they were all peyotes. I could not find a peyote. Supposed to be around here. There's a bunch of people treading water. If we could just turn into a shark, fun could be had. at this. Let me look at the map again. Okay, I should be just about perpendicular. If I just fly perpendicular to the, uh, the thing here. Yeah, more this way. If the map is accurate. Is that it? Do we need you? No. Should be straight ahead. Silly peyote. No, that's not a peyote. Like it should be really roughly. There's so much grass and stuff right here. Or if like you can't eat it in a scuba suit or something. You eat it wearing a helmet, so I mean I don't see why you couldn't eat it wearing a scuba suit. I also don't see how you could eat it underwater, but I mean you know. This is GTA. I'm not worried about such things, generally speaking. Logic. I'm way too far out. Like, it should be staring at me right here. a rock. In the murky water here, somewhere, 
exactly where this is supposed to be. And gang, I'm not finding it. It's just... This is frustrating. Now, according to this... That's just about where it should be. I get stuck under some boards. Keep approaching, you know, where I think it should be. I mean, this is easier than I'm making it out to be, and I'm just doing something wildly wrong. Okay. In the wrong vantage point? Why am I making it? Why is this so hard? Yeah, I can hardly swim that way. Alright, screw this, we're gonna do something else. I give up, I give up on the underwater peyote. Okay. Until another time, another opportunity, another... No, I'm probably not coming back to this. I just won't get to be a shark. There is another one. Where's the other under there are other lots of underwater? I mean they're hard even harder to find. How come my bike's knocked over? I don't remember leaving that out. Right. Let's go back to style. Let's go where is it? Where's my default look here? I fit we're going to back to the professional. Let's give the professional another chance to get completely wasted on peyote here. Oh, sorry. They're angry. They're upset. I made some people upset. Sorry. Sorry. The bike, not used to it. And where we go? Up this way. So, we have to head up to Del Perro. We'll pass that. If we go up this way. Yeah, this bike is not nimble. Not a nimble bike. Because it belches black smoke because I've beaten it up too much. Now, let us look here. Again, at the map. Okay, so somewhere like halfway down here. Should be right around uh, where Michael Psychiatrist is, which that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, somewhere right around here. Okay, unless my map is crap. I don't think it's that far in. I think it's really along the roadside here. Are you okay? Not tell, asking me if I want to eat it, even though I don't see it. Still not seeing it. Could it be somewhere along the bridge area? Man, I don't know. You'd really have to want to do this stuff, wouldn't you? Let's see. Okay, so we can kind of triangulate. It's 
the four. Before that road starts cutting down, so it should be. Oh, here's something. Where's the road? Stuck inside here somewhere? Hey, what you waiting? Is it in a little bit? Wow, the professional is completely... This look is not helping me. Somewhere along here... It's supposed to be... It's really great that this is like only during like one or so weeks or so, you know, you have to do it now or forget about it. I've been a puppy, I've been a chicken, I'm thinking bunny's gotta be an option, right? Presents it as being somewhere along that strip. <sighs> okay, I've got a more definitive spot. It's a little bit clearer on the map of where it might be up in the graveyard. In the cemetery. Which I don't advise just going around doing drugs in the cemetery, but this was a Halloween ish video, right? That was. My goal is to do it on Halloween, but we get other things at home. You know, it's... So you live your life, you know, it's not, you don't... I'll probably um, zip over. I feel like this is all the wrong direction. What the heck? Is this like a thousand centuries and not a cemetery? Is it? This but behind one of these houses? That would be nasty. You know? I mean, look at the shape of things. Oh, this is bad. This is not going to be an easy place to find a peyote button. Somewhere on this hill. Right in the center. Like right in here somewhere is what it's looking like. I mean, my map just sucks. But when I, I used Google, so it must be true. How is the, the building, the structure that I keyed off of? This isn't the professional here, and I can't find the randomly growing drugs. This is entirely too hard.
Dad gummit, this is too much effort to just to try to be a bunny rabbit for a few minutes. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't a professional. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night. <laughs>